This here big dog status. This is why they hot for the malice. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. I ain't so groovy, I ain't in my movie. She let it pop for two piece. I need the blues, I need the crews. Please never get it confused. I am the one, I am a queen. There is no in between. Hold up, let me switch my flow up. Nose up, they swear I'm stuck up. She just full of life. She's just a, a good person. Like. Speaking from his hospital bed with gunshot wounds to his back and leg. But it's to be happening. It's over something so minuscule. It's just like it's overwhelming. Each bullet hole in this car is the result of road rage. One bullet hit a 26-year-old model. She's now here at Kings County Hospital fighting for her life. Her boyfriend was also hit. And just to think that just from a senseless parking spot that, you know, someone who had so much, you know, has so much to live for could, you know, be in danger. I saw her in the car and, you know, she laying there. It's sad the way she was laying there, you know, blood in her head and blood on the side of the door and everything. Twenty-six-year-old Imani Sharpless was a bright, ambitious, and beautiful soul, both inside and out. A close friend described her as just an overall good person who was full of life. Imani worked in a Brownsville Elementary School as a teacher's aide in an after-school program. She was also enrolled in classes and had dreams and aspirations to become a model and singer. No one could have ever predicted the tragic chain of events that would soon take place. Just after noon on September 9th, NYPD responded to the corner of Willoughby Avenue and Nostrand Avenue in bed for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would find a bullet-ridden vehicle with an unresponsive woman inside. You got innocent people walking around and for people to get shot like that is crazy. An afternoon shooting that left a 26-year-old woman in critical condition and a 35-year-old man injured sent shockwaves through bed Saturday, causing Brooklynites to fear for their safety. You can look right there and still see the car with the bullet holes. I think it's crazy that this even happened today. And if you look, it's a park across the street. You know, a lot of kids be in that park early morning. So I just think it's real crazy because, God forbid, you know, bullets don't have no names. Could have just could have hit people over here. Witnesses say a dispute that started at Home Depot on Nostrand Avenue ended at the corner of Myrtle Avenue with bullet holes in the door of this white Honda. Investigators say the man was shot in his knee and is in stable condition at a nearby hospital while the woman is fighting to stay alive. He came out of the car. He was shot in his leg and in his back. And the girl was um, in the passenger seat. She was um, slammed back and she, her hands and her legs was moving a little. A man who lives nearby but did not want to give his name says he saw the Honda driving the wrong way down this one-way street. So I get out my car and I walk down there and I saw her in the car and, you know, she laying there. It's sad the way she was laying there, you know, blood in her head and blood on the side of the door and everything. And he came out the car and um, he told when the cops came, he said he got shot too. The victim was identified as 26-year-old Imani Sharpless, who was taken to a local hospital in critical condition after suffering a gunshot wound to the head. Her 36-year-old boyfriend was also shot in his right knee and back. A look into the case revealed the incident stemmed from a dispute over a parking spot at a nearby Home Depot. Imani was with her boyfriend, 36-year-old Cordell McDuffie, when the two got into an argument with the male, who would eventually force his way into the parking spot. Amani and Cordell hung out in front of the Home Depot for a while before Cordell finally went inside of the store to shop. Amani remained in the car. The suspect, who came out of the Home Depot first, waited for Cordell to exit the store. Surveillance video recovered by police showed him patiently waiting for passerbys to clear his line of fire until he had a clear shot of Cordell. As Cordell exited the Home Depot, he opened fire at the driver's side of the door, striking Imani in the head and wounding Cordell, the apparent intended target. Police said the suspect then fled on foot, leaving his Mercedes-Benz behind in the store's parking lot. Police also found a Pennywise clown mask inside of the suspect's vehicle. Cordell managed to drive the vehicle a few blocks away before flagging down someone for help and calling 911. 
he would plead for someone to help his girlfriend, never mentioning the fact that he himself had been shot. Detectives recovered the gun used and clothes discarded by the person of interest, who was connected to the Mercedes-Benz recovered in the parking lot following the shooting. Although undergoing surgery, Amani would remain unresponsive for the most part, only able to lift her head up and down. She was sadly passed away just five days later. Amani's boyfriend, who was subsequently treated and released from the hospital, appeared visibly devastated and heartbroken as he recalled the chain of events from his hospital bed. Surveillance cameras captured the shooting. Now, in this video, you see the gunman standing in the corner here. Uh, this is Willoughby and Sanford Street. He's standing on the corner, just waiting for families to walk by. And then he crosses the street and opens fire on the couple parked just across the street outside the Home Depot. <laughs> Speaking from his hospital bed with gunshot wounds to his back and leg. But it's to be happening is over something so minuscule. It's just like it's overwhelming. Cordell McDuffie recounts the moment he and his girlfriend Imani Sharpless were gunned down outside this Home Depot in Brooklyn Saturday afternoon. McDuffie's white Hyundai Sonata pierced with bullet holes over what he describes as a parking dispute inside the shopping center. He was trying to go into a parking space, but he pulled up a little bit forward towards the entry. I pulled up behind the guy, but he had to back up, and I was impeding on him backing up. I pretty much didn't realize it. I blew my horn for a second, then we, we exchanged words. Both drivers got out the car. McDuffie said he tried to quickly defuse the situation before it escalated. Now, I told him it's a misunderstanding. You thought I was yelling? I wasn't yelling. My phone, my, my music was on. McDuffie says both he and the suspect appeared to move on from the issue, continuing with their business inside the store. The couple left around 1215 and pulled over on Willoughby Avenue. And as I'm waiting, uh, I, I just feel something hit me. The gunman opens fire before running away. An injured McDuffie manages to drive away to safety, headed down the wrong direction on Nostrand Avenue. The suspect shot Sharpless in the head. She's still in critical condition right now. They trying to do what they can. While police search for the gunman, McDuffie is holding on to hope. I need everybody's prayers. I need her to be okay. New at five, a woman shot in the head over a parking dispute has died. We previously told you about the shooting of a 26 year old uh, Imani Sharpless, another man as well. This happened last weekend at a Home Depot in Bed Stuy. Sharpless had been in the hospital since the shooting happened, and today police say she succumbed to her injuries. As of right now, there have been no arrests in the case, despite the identification of a suspect. Police described the shooter as a male around 5'6 and 160 pounds, who wore a red hat, white shirt, and black jeans. It isn't clear if the gunman knew the couple prior to the dispute over the parking spot or if this was a deadly encounter between two strangers. Anyone with information leading to an arrest is encouraged to come forward. The case remains ongoing. Bitch, I'm known for big stepping. C block, what I'm repping. If I say slot, then gang gon' slot like little bitches electric. Is that even up a question? Is that even a debate? Can't let no snake bitch bite me twice. I had to turn it to a plate. I'm feeling good, I'm Gucci great. I guess that's why these bitches hate. But just a while back was the ramen pack, and that was stick up on my plate. This here big dog status. This is why they hot for the malice. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. I am so groovy, I am a movie. She let it pop for two piece. I need the blues, I need the crews. Please never get the confused. I am the one, I am a queen. There is no in between. Hold up, let me switch my flow up. Nose up, they swear I'm stuck up. That boy just mad, he can't fuck. He ain't getting no money, it's slow bucks. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. I am a big mood, I am a lick vibe. I'm lit. Sick of these niggas like drink no mop ties. 
My aura so cold, my aura so sick, that shit like Jordan's flu game. All I do is put it on the real, real right one time, but he sing like Luke James. Like my hood nigga smart like two chains. That's why it's hard to seduce me. And I'm always moving bougie. That's how for niggas talking loosely. Got the thin weights with the pretty face, body shaped like Karuchi. And you'll never get next to me. Lame hoes and never get the best of me. All on my page, steady watching face, cause they trying to get the recipe. Keep your soul in your body, little bitch. Don't you talk to me recklessly. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Don't you like how I, how I move it, baby, move it, baby. This for all the niggas that try to play me. All the hoes that try to spray me. Extra chicken, extra gravy. I know you mad, you chose to hate me. Ducking in and out of old. No definition of pose. All these hoes be on go. Guess I'm a soul, I can't fold. Model bitch. I get paid for trying on clothes and shit. Chain little for the little bitch and shit. New phone, I'm like who this and shit. This pussy so good, this pussy on rock that shit go whoop like Ric Flair, like pop smoke. Baby. Bitches never want smoke. When I come around, they gon' mega choke. Really in my back, now let it glow. Can you be the drink, bitch? Try the boat. Now turn to a leader, then I rock this boat. Get my nut quick, then I gotta go. Can't let these niggas get comfortable. Hell no. Fly, why they so mad? It's out on bossed up, bitch. Change my focus. Got my mind right, now I'm stacking up chips. Now I make plays like Toronto. Bitch, that me I don't miss. A sub is like a blow with no toe, bitch. That mean it don't hit. Best up, step up, block OG, and I'm next up. Who the fuck gon' check me? Wave runner try to catch me. Kicking dope shit like a spike bleak. A bitch can see me unlikely. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it, baby. Stick it, baby, stick it, baby. Do it, baby, do it, baby. Move it, baby, move it, baby. Groove it, baby, groove it.